this is not the show. This is what she does. No, this is things that they say is not true. I'd be like, I'm sorry, but oh, sorry. Why? Oh, why? 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 That's why? my point for I mean, one. To be a there's a lot of family drama that's going on here. Yes. We're going to take a quick break so we can unpack this. So, everyone, I've asked Kayla and uh, Melody to leave the stage so that I can speak to you alone for a little bit. Can you acknowledge that your kids are hurt? And so am I. Oh, I know. I can imagine what you've been through in your own life. Can you acknowledge that your children have had a hard life and are probably in pain? Yes, they do. So you acknowledge that? Of course they do. Yeah. And this how, is how when does, I get does, upset. How does that make you feel knowing that you're It makes me hard. feel even worse as a mom because I tell them every day of my life, instead of you going against me, let's make this the best of it. No, they don't do that. They rebel on me. Why? Because I'm trying to tell you right from wrong. If you ever, if we've been through this, why we got to continue to live the same life? But no, fight, fight, fight. Like he said, I fight, I fight. That's all they do. But do you know why? Like that. Yes, because of the situation that we live through our, our lives, and I, I, I understand just make, that. I, I just want to make sure because yes. because those kids, they're just trying. They've only learned to protect themselves. They've only learned. But to they, that's fight. my point. But they protect themselves from the wrong people. So you because feel like I they see... shouldn't be protecting themselves from you. No. I also saw how you talk to them. But you so don't that's... understand because the things that these kids say to me, boy. I'm telling you my phone, I'm even embarrassed sometimes of even opening my phone. Mm -hmm. But I'm there for you. I'm the only one there for you. I haven't seen nobody else there for but, them. So, so I know that you said earlier that there was times that they had visitation. And so the, in their foster care, they were able to... Even in the foster care's house, the, the lady but, used to call me and used to go to the house or, or squeeze but, in a but, car to go but, see but them. But you understand you came and visited. In their mind, mom still wasn't there. They needed stability. Yes. They, needed, they needed to feel protected. protected. And even though you were there sometimes, can you understand that they don't feel that stability? They didn't feel that protection? Of course. Them? I understand my kids. I really understand my well, kids. Well, so this is the issue. There's, and something, I tell there's them. something that is missing for them that they don't believe that you understand. Because they that's how they are. Point blank. You know how many times I sat there and I told them about everything, the whole life, the everything, and it's like, I love you for a minute, the Bitch, I'm going to kill you right now. That's how it is. And I'm not saying I say that I'm not perfect, but the only thing you shouldn't do is raise your hands to mom. Never in your life. Because I wasn't raised like that. I agree with you. Okay? I agree with you. And I've never treated my kids bad, never in my life. From your kids' point of view, they do feel like you treat them Of course. Them. Yes. Because that's what they believe. That's, that's what everybody that, stuck on their head. That, everybody. See, see, that's where the conflict starts. Do you want to heal the relationship with your daughters? Huh, yeah. But if it's going to be like that, I don't know, yes, part of it. Yes, the answer yes, is yes. Yes, yes. Because your daughters are in their 20s and they're in a lot of pain. Yeah, stuff. and so am I. They need you to put your pain aside and just hear what they've been through. I want to make sure y'all taking baby steps. If I bring your daughters back out, can you just hear them without without making any defense? No, I'm not even going to say nothing. You will? So can I bring them back out? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the intention of healing. Yes. And so you'll be able to listen. Yes. I believe you. All right. Can we bring, I want to bring um, Kayla and Melody back out. Okay, so ladies, the floor is yours. You talk to her from your pain, from your hearts, about what it is. Just being a mom, I guess, like, you know, have a nurturing feeling. Doing? Be more attentive as a person, as a human, as a mom, I guess. What do you need to say to your mother? I try to understand her, but when she's wrong, I can't side with you. What is she wrong about that you need her to hear? That she don't love her kids. Can you assure your children that you love them? Can you assure your daughter that you love them? I tell them every day of my life, I love them. I love them. I, when these kids don't call me, and you're going to see, I call them and be like, what the f are you calling me for? Hmm? Who says that to you? You have said that to Mom, me. Mom, on your dad mother, I never said that. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Don't play you with me. You don't tell me why you Don't play with me. This is the unfortunate part about this today, is that there's too much pain here to unpack. Yes. And y'all are too But close. it takes day by day. It and does. this is a start. I won't think about her. She's irrelevant. I don't care. When it's, it's a her start. time to go to the it's king, don't call me. It's I don't start. care. We're I don't gonna care. Get there. I don't care. You broke up. But mom, it's what you said. It's what you said. It's what happens. So it's okay for you to call us monsters. 
So what are you? So can you, can you, can we start there? Can we start there? So what are you? Hold on, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do here. Can you at least, as their mother, when you leave the show, because I'm about to end this now, can you at least from this point on realize that calling your daughters or your children monsters, the other children as well, they're not here, is not going to help you get the relationship you want with them. I so can you, can you commit to not calling them monsters anymore? Or oh, demons. Can you tell, let's, let's can you tell them you will not call them out their names like that anymore? I won't call them out your names no more. Okay, can, you, can you do it in a way that... No, we're not going to talk that. No, we're not going to talk that. Be genuine, though. But I'm telling you. Do you mean it, though? Just well, say you're not going to call us names. That's it. You're not going to call your monster? Yeah. No. Well, there we go. There we go. There we go. I, I wish y'all the best of luck. Thank okay. you I really so much. Sincerely. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. All right, okay. everyone. Yeah. Everyone, thank you for being with us. Come back next time, friends. So we keep talking and going. I love you all. Everybody who watches Mari every day from home. I want to thank 